Hello there, Data Recovery Guru here, hope all is well. Today we are working on this 320 gigabyte Samsung hard disk drive. It's coming out of a iOmega external enclosure. What happened with this drive is, is originally um, developed a mechanical problem along with firmware issues. This customer is from New York City. So what he did, you know, like many folks do they try to go to a local company typically a computer shop which is not a good idea because they don't have the expertise to deal with this and the reason i'm saying that is because typically what computer shops do uh which in this case was a computer shop in brooklyn and one in manhattan um so the guys in manhattan i guess what they did is they removed the pcb it's the pcb here they removed the pcb from the hard drive and they started messing around with the BIOS RAM here, and as you can see, things is out of place, you know, resistors, capacitors, all kinds of chips are out of place. Uh, the RAM is toast. We tried to, like, fix the original board, but it doesn't work. Uh, so if you are a computer shop, we highly recommend stop doing this if you don't have the expertise. Partner up with a data recovery specialist, and they'll take care of it, you know, properly. And in return, you're probably going to get a nice commission, okay, uh, as, as a sign of appreciation. Anyway, this guy from New York City, this customer, uh, sent it to us as a third opinion. Not second, not first, second, or you know, third opinion after he's gone to two computer shops. Anyway, we got it here. We diagnosed it. We cannot fix the original PCB. There's too much damage. Uh, we rebuilt uh, the hard drive. We rebuilt the hard drive with fresh components, with fresh reading heads. That's the customer's old reading heads. And now we got the drive mechanically stable. So mechanically the drive is good. It also has firmware issues. So what we had to do here is in order to get the drive to work, uh, we had to actually employ a method called hot swap using another, a, a second donor drive to basically get it to act and initialize and identify as the original drive. So we took firmware from this drive using advanced equipment uh, like PC-1000, for example, okay, we accessed the firmware and then we made this hard drive compatible with this one at firmware level so we can do a method here called hot swap. So once we power on the donor, it's going to initialize like the patient drive and we are going to swap this PCB to the, uh, from the donor PCB to the customer here. We are putting the drive in standby mode so that we can execute the command. Okay, so okay, so now we are going to swap to this drive and we're gonna put the screws on in one second. Okay, PCB has been swapped on. We should do a recalibration command and now the drive works. Okay, and here's the cloning process. Green is good. Bytes of data have been read successfully. See, access data. Uh, these have been unread yet. So as you can see, the drive is struggling. There's a lot of uh, damage on the surface of the disk, however, there's going to be a decent partial recovery for this customer and they should be happy with the outcome. All right. If you need help, you can go to datarecoveryguru.com, click on a blue button called let's start with a free diagnosis, fill out the form, it'll be in touch with you shortly after. This is how you do it. Okay. Right here, go to datarecoveryguru.com, scroll down, you can click on get started here. Anything, any blue button is fine. Or Let's start with the free diagnosis. You'll see the form, fill it out, it will be in touch with you shortly after. Alright, thanks so much.